Let's move to the next divide and conquer problem, the median of medians. In this problem or in this algorithm, we are given an unsorted array and we need to find the median or the middle element of the array for which half of the elements are smaller than the median and half of the elements are bigger than the median. Suppose this is the array. For this array, the median will be 34, right? Okay. Now the nice solution for this problem would be something like first you sort the array and then get the middle element index. But that approach does more work than required. As you just need to find the median, there's no need to know the sorted position of each element in the array. And the worst time complexity for the solution is O n log n. There's another solution for this problem that has complexity O n, which is based on quick sort algorithm. So what we do, we choose a pivot element, then we rearrange the numbers exactly like we used to do in the quick sort, and then we return the pivot index. Now we check if the index is the middle index. If it is a middle index, we have found the median and if pivot index is less than the median index, we recursively search for the median in the right subarray. Else, if the pivot index is greater than the median index, we recursively search in the left subarray. So suppose the pivot is 10. Now you compare every element with this pivot and rearrange the array like this. And we see the 10 will get the third place, right? Is this the median? No, you can tell this by seeing this that median index is 5. So we need to find or we need to search for the median in the right subarray. It is present at the right of this 10. Now we choose a pivot from this right subarray. So let's choose 56. So after the iteration, it comes at the fourth index in this array. But we are looking for the second element, right? So we keep on going to search in the left subarray for this iteration. Because now the median is present left to this 56. This continues. And finally, we get 34 at the first index, that is, at the fifth index of the overall array. So this is how we get the median. Now if we go with the traditional approach to choose pivot element, we will end up having O n square complexity, similar to the quick sort. Because if we choose pivot randomly, it is possible that it may end up having position far from the median, like at the first place. Then again, you need to search for the pivot and recursively find the median subarray of elements n minus 1. So in worst case, this approach will go through n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 multiplied by n minus 3 and so on, which results in n square complexity. So we need a different approach to find pivot so that we can guarantee that element we choose as pivot is close enough to median. And by choosing pivot close to median, we reduce the number of elements to search by almost half in each iteration. In that way, complexity becomes O n. Let's see how. Suppose this is the array. Now in median of medians algorithm, what we do, we divide the array into subarrays, each of length 5. Where the last subarray may have length less than 5. Then we find median of each subarray directly. We recursively determine the median of the set of all these medians that we got in the last step. And then we use the final median as pivot.
So we found 25 as median. Now use 25 as the pivot and after one iteration of sorting, we will get this 25 at index number 13. And you can see this array. This is an array starting from 0 to 21. So the median will be present at the index number 11, right? So this is this 25 is definitely not the median. Now where we have to go to search the median? See the left half of this 25 and the right half. So index 11 is present at the left. So now we are going to do the same thing with the, this left subarray. So let's take this left subarray. Again, divide into chunks of five elements. Again, sort these subarrays and get the median of each. And get the median of these three medians and use this value as a pivot again. So when we use 16 as a pivot for this subarray which is having elements 13 24 4 24 till 1 we will get 16 at index 5 but still this is not the index we're searching for so again we will take the left subarray and the right subarray to this index 5 and now the element we're searching for is present in the right subarray because it's the 12th element or you can say it is the element present at the 11th index so let's take the right subarray and again we're gonna divide it into chunks of five elements again sort these arrays and find the medians of each and then the median of these two medians. So now 24 is our pivot. Using this pivot, let's take one iteration over this subarray. When we do this, we will get 24 at the 12th index. But still, this is not the index. Index we need is 11. So again, let's take the left subarray and the right subarray. But this time, we won't be having any right subarray as there are no elements to the right of this 24 or to the right of this index 12. So this time, we're going to take the left subarray to find out the median. We have to find the sixth element, right? So let's take this array. And again, let's divide this into chunks of five. Get the median. So the median of medians we get is 24. Use this as a pivot to have one iteration of sorting using quick sort. So when we do this, we get 24 at 11th index. And this is the index we were searching for. So the element that we need is present right at this index. So this is the median.